All right, so now you can see Aircrack, it's running through all these instances of possible passwords. It's like literally just going through and it's just grinding. And you and I go get a beer. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, and we found it. What? Video how to uh, detect hidden wireless networks, right? Uh, how to use the Aero Dump, Air Mon, Air Replay, Air Crack, suite of uh, offensive security wireless tools. Stream, aloha. Okay, so first of all, let me show you what's going on. So in order for this lab to work, two things. One, right here, Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi 4B. This is a custom wireless network, a special antenna that has more capabilities than your the onboard wireless antenna. This is a travel router. This router right here is hosting a wireless uh, multiple wireless networks right now. It has a 2.4 gig visible wireless network and a 2.4 gig hidden wireless network. This is for educational purposes only. Let's not screw around. And the reason I have three different terminal shells is because they're all logged into the Raspberry Pi, right? All of them are logged into the Raspberry Pi. So we have our WLAN zero connected to the midnight, which is my wireless SSID here at my house, okay? That's the onboard wireless card for the Raspberry Pi. Then I have a WLAN 1, which is the network interface of the antenna sticking out of my Raspberry Pi. WLAN 1, onboard WLAN 0, okay? So I don't care about WLAN 0. So the first thing you want to do is uh, activate the, um, the wireless monitor mode, okay? Wireless network cards, your antennas, most of us run them in managed access mode, right? This is the mode that allows you to connect to Starbucks wireless access point. If you see here, my WLAN zero onboard network interface is in managed mode. That's what this means. That's how 99% of us live is in managed mode. The WLAN one is also in managed mode, but that doesn't work for us, okay? We're gonna use Airmon NG to um, activate the WLAN one network interface and move it to a monitor mode, okay? You see here, we now have WLAN one mon mode monitor, okay? So here's the thing, guys. Remember, with, with wireless networks, right? This antenna is sitting here in monitor mode. We, there's radio signals everywhere. I am by no means an expert in wireless uh, radio, okay? But wireless networks are everywhere, everywhere. And we're gonna see them in a minute. So all you need is something that has ears configured to listen. And that's what monitor mode is. We're listening to all of the network traffic out there, all the radio, okay? That's what the monitor mode does, okay? So now that we've got our network interface in monitor mode, let's go ahead and start playing around a little bit. So AeroDump is the other, uh, is another tool that we're gonna use in order to basically sniff the traffic, AeroDump. And we'll do it on WLAN 1 Mon, okay? Right in the top left, see this channel? That is the channel that it's scanning. So wireless networks, um, wireless networks can go across, I think 16 channels, right? So wireless is broken up into all these different things. Wireless can go across multiple channels. You can see here, this is the BSSID. There's a couple important things to note here. One, this is the MAC address of the access point. Okay, this access point is is building a huge network or it's, it's hosting a wireless network and it needs a MAC address because the OSI stack says that layer two needs the data link layer with a MAC address, okay? This tells us what level of encryption it's using, WPA2, which is pretty standard. And then here is the ESSID. This is the wireless network name. You can see here's my home network, the midnight. You can see here is Agenda 21 visible. This is the network that um, is being hosted by here, okay? Agenda 21 visible is one of the networks. You see this uh, length zero on for the ESSID? These are hidden wireless networks, right? These ones in red, the the name is hidden, right? Which Which is fine, right? You can hide your SSID. That's all that is happening here. So what we're interested in is two things. One, you'll note that these are all on channel 11. That's interesting. And then you'll note that this is the ESSID for 
this particular uh, network that we've seen as visible, okay? We can use arrow dump another way. We can use arrow dump and say dash dash channel 11, right? Just so we're looking at only channel 11. You see up here how it's not rotating anymore? Because we've fixed it on channel 11. So now we can, we can dial it in a little bit more. Now, agenda 21, this is the BSS ID. So let's do this, right? And this is kind of redundant because BSS ID, this AP is only on channel 11. So the channel 11 is unnecessary, but I'll just leave it there, okay? So now we're only listening to this wireless network, agenda 21, visible. And you could see this is a client attached to it, okay? I've got an iPad and this right here is the MAC address of the iPad, okay? It's the same MAC address that we see on there. So what are we gonna do with that? Okay, so here's the first kind of fun thing to do. We can use a tool called Air Replay to basically bump it off the network. Why would you wanna do a D-auth? Um, you can do it to prank people. Air Replay has tons of different modes, right? You can see the modes here. Zero is the D-auth one, but there are other ones that I encourage you to check out. Okay, I control this wireless network. Don't do this um, outside of a controlled lab, okay? So I'm gonna do dash zero, um, one dash A, which is the, um, like what's the access point, which is this guy. And then I'm gonna say dash C, which is the client, which is this guy. And then I'm gonna say, uh, using the WLAN one mon, there we go, it just got bumped off the network. So that's step one, D auth, okay? Now, why would you wanna do that? Okay, a couple reasons, check this out now. We see this network, but then there's another network that we see that's hidden. There's a hidden network here and we don't know what it is. Endpoints make connections to hidden networks. They need they need to basically request access to the network. And it's, it's through this uh, four-way handshake, the EAPOL, that you can kind of eavesdrop and listen. So, so we're gonna switch this from this network that we know to this network, okay? Now, th by the way, this technique will only work if there is a client connected to this wireless access point, if there's no clients on the wireless access point, then deauthing won't do anything because you're not gonna kick anything off the network. There's no clients there. All right, so here is our hidden network, right? We don't know what it is, but we, we want to know what it is. I have to get a device to connect to it. Okay, there we go. Boom, did you see it? Did you see it come up? Okay, so that's how you can discover a hidden wireless network. That's exactly how you can discover a hidden wireless network, okay? All right, so now we're gonna catch a handshake per Lego sex thing. So what else could you do? Well, we found this hidden network, but we wanna get onto it, but we don't know the password, obviously, obviously. So how do we get that? Well, don't worry, we have a technique for that. I don't know if it did it. Let me do it one more time. Yep, so I just got bumped off the network. You see how it says notes e -pull? That means I caught an e -pull handshake there, which is great, okay? So now we've got that. So let's then go on to the final piece of the puzzle. All right, pseudo air crack, um, simply cyber take two dot cap. You wanna pass it the cap file. Okay, now this is totally done offline, okay? Now you do need you do need a dictionary here or a password list, excuse me. And all we're doing is we're taking aircrack, we're passing it the packets that we captured using air replay, and we're passing this word list, okay? If you're looking for an excellent super super dictionary password list right here, pretty much every password you could think of. All right, so let's go ahead and do it. All right, so now you can see aircrack is running through it's running through all these instances of possible passwords and learning more about this type of uh, research. Oh, and we found it. Here is the password to the wireless network. That's exactly how you use AeroDump, a wireless network capture card to monitor traffic, capture packets, force the four-way handshake with EPO, the four-way EPO handshake with a DAUTH uh, technique and then use the caught handshake to use aircrack to discover 
the password. Now, I, I do want to share with you guys, if you are interested in learning more, because like I'm doing basic stuff here, okay? This is not... Um, Cody Kinsey, okay? Cody Kinsey, this guy right here is fantastic. Love this guy's work. He um, has his own uh, YouTube thing now. He works at Veronis, but he does a lot of stuff. You can see his Raspberry Pis are here. I by no means am an expert in wireless network. I just know enough to have some fun and, and goof around and do a video. Cody is legit, right? Like I love watching his stuff. He's very uh, great labs, very interesting, uh, great personality, loves, loves what he does, obviously. If you look, this is the, um, this is my lab, okay? So it's a Raspberry Pi 4 model B 2019 quad core. I've had it for a few years. It does what it needs to do for me. Uh, and then this is the case and the crap that goes with it. Uh, and then, you know, some basic memory cards. Um, I have this HDMI cable, but I don't use it anymore because as I showed you, um, I just, I just um, secure shell into the Pi. So there's no reason for me to have this anymore. Um, and then the new Pi imagers actually come quite nicely equipped for you to configure secure shell. All right, everybody, I wanna say thank you very much. Have a wonderful day. Be good, everyone. Thank you all so much. And until next time, stay secure.